Hey guys, welcome to your practice. My name is May. I am a physiotherapist, yoga teacher, and Pilates instructor. And I'm going to take you through a series of core exercises that are going to be really short and punchy. So to begin with, I would like you all to just go and grab a block, or if you don't have a block, maybe grab a pillow or a book, and just come onto your backs. So, Lying down on your backs with your feet about hip width apart, just place your two fingers a centimeter in from your hip bones. And so right now it should be nice and soft and squishy. And so we're gonna bring awareness to the core region. So I would like you all to make an imaginary letter T going from your hip bone to hip bone, and then from your pubic bone up to your belly button. So that horizontal line is your deep transverse abdominis. So what I would like you to do is just start to scoop and flatten the belly or start to cinch in the waist. And you want to feel a subtle toning underneath your fingers. And then just completely relax. And then do that again. Start to scoop and flatten the belly. And relax. And then to turn on your vertical line, so from your pubic bone up towards your belly button, which is your pelvic floor muscles, I want you to pretend like you're slowing the flow when you're going to the toilet or trying to suck a piece of spaghetti up your pee hole. So, closing down your eyes and just take a breath in. Start to squeeze and lift your pelvic floor. And as you breathe out, scoop and flatten the belly and try and keep those two muscles engaged. So these two muscles make up part of your core. So now we're going to talk about your two spinal positions. So you've got a neutral spine and an imprint spine. So at the moment you're lying in a neutral spine where you've got a slight arch through your lower back. And I'd like you to place the heel of your hand on your hip bones and your fingers on your pubic bone. And I want you to use your belly to lower or press your lower back down towards the floor. And you should feel your fingers lifting slightly. So that's called an imprint spine. So when we are in a neutral spine, often both our feet or one foot will be on the ground. And if we're in an imprint spine, then both our feet will be off the ground. And next we'll talk about the breathing. So bring your thumbs to the base of your rib cage and your index fingers on your hip bones. So take a medium sized breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, feel your lowest ribs glide down towards your hips. And you should feel the gap in between your thumb and index finger shortening with each exhale. And just take about two more breaths here. Last breath in through the nose, filling up the sides of the ribs and out the mouth and lastly we'll talk about posture so you want a slight tuck of the chin like you're holding a juicy peach without actually squishing and dribbling it down your top and then lengthen the sides of the neck draw the tips of your shoulder blades down and in towards the spine like you're creating a v that's it and then hold that while engaging through your pelvic floor and your transverse abdominis so when you're ready, we'll get started by bringing your right leg up into tabletop and then lowering it back down and the other leg to tabletop and lowering it back down. So keeping a neutral spine, breathe in through the nose. As you breathe out, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the left. Good. So keep going like this and notice if your hips are starting to sway or move slightly. If they are, try and squeeze through the pelvic floor and scoop and flatten the belly even more so it stays nice and still. You can even use your hands for feedback just to make sure that your pelvis isn't moving. So just keep alternating, lifting your left foot and your right foot. We'll do about two more, keeping the sides of the neck nice and long. So good guys. Next, you're gonna bring both your legs up into tabletop. So please press your lower back firmly down. Bring both legs up to tabletop. Squeeze the knees towards each other. Take a breath in. 
As you breathe out, tuck your right foot lightly. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lift. Keep alternating like this. Every time you breathe out, feel your lowest ribs pull down towards your hips. Every time you breathe in, scoop and reset that belly. Notice if your lower back is starting to lift off the ground, can you firmly magnetize it towards the floor? Let's do one more to each side. Good, now keep your legs up into tabletop. This time place your hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers, thumbs down the sides of the neck, elbows nice and wide. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders, look towards your knees. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. You've got this. Keep going. Press the knees. And here it's really important that the neck doesn't stick out or poke forward. Keep that slight tuck so that you're activating through your deep uh, neck flexors at the front. Imagine that you're balancing a plate of food on your shins and you don't want to drop it. Keep the legs as still as possible. I'm doing another three. And two. Last one. Good, lower back down. Keep the legs into tabletop. Next, you're going to come into oblique twists, working the sides of the abs. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, lower. So keep going like this. Upper body lifting and twisting. Hips and legs staying nice and still. It's a lot harder when you start to really slow down on the movement. Think about that pelvic floor, keep it lifted. Gentle toning through the sides of the waist. Next, we're gonna add the legs. So, right elbow to left knee, right heel extends. Inhale, rebend, lower the head. Exhale, lift and twist to the right, extend the left leg long. Inhale, rebend. Good, now keep going like this, and every time you extend the legs, squeeze the top of the thigh as much as you can. As you move, make sure that you're matching your breath to the whole movement. We want you all to try and do about three more to each side. Again, making sure that you're maintaining your imprint spine, lower back firmly grounding towards the floor. You've got this, guys. One more to each side. Ooh. And lower back down, so good. Keep your knees just a nice rock from left to right. And then this time I would like you to leave your head on the floor, interlace your hands above your head and bring your legs up into tabletop. From here, take a breath in. As you breathe out, slowly lower your knees over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the right. Now, as you move, you want to keep your arms as still as possible. So if, you're low, if you lower your knees too much, your arms will swing out to the side. So you'll find a point where you feel like you're almost going to tip and you're just going to stop there. And so while the legs move, think about your lowest ribs keeping uh, connected or pulling down towards your hips. Inhaling to center and exhaling to take it to the side. This time, take your knees over to the left. Pause there, extend your right leg nice and long. Legs back to center, bend your right knee. Legs to the left, or sorry, the right. Extend the left leg, back to center, re-bend. So by straightening that top leg, you're just 
adding a little bit more weight, which makes this uh, exercise a bit more challenging. So keep going here. The head and neck gets a bit of a rest. Let's just do one more to each side. So good, guys. Keep your hand interlaced. Legs stay in tabletop. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders, open your knees, reach through your legs. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Beautiful, not practice. So you can keep your knees bent or you can extend your legs out nice and long into a V. We're doing another eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reset, bring your legs back to tabletop, arms out nice and long, take a breath in. As you breathe out, sweep your arms down past your hips, beating your arms up and down, breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, doing hundreds. Favorite exercise. So think about really reaching as far forward as you can with your arms. Every time you breathe in, lift a little bit higher. Every time you breathe out, scoop and flatten the belly. If your neck and shoulders are starting to strain, place one hand behind and keep gazing up towards your knees. And you can just alternate hands. And if this feels okay for you, keep reaching your arms forward. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, extend your legs towards the sky. And if this still feels okay for you, turn your toes out to the sides and lower your legs down to about 45 degrees. You've got it. three more breaths. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Lower yourself back down, take the soles of your feet together, knees fall apart. Oh, place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. And just take three deep breaths. Last full breath in. Big breath out. Good, and just hug your knees up towards your chest and sway side to side. Okay, you guys are doing really well. Next exercise, go ahead and grab your block. And if you don't have one, just pretend that you've got one or maybe grab like a magic circle or a book. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your legs up into tabletop, place the block on your left side just underneath the knee and your right elbow connected to the block like this. Your left elbow is gonna open out nice and wide. From here, your left elbow taps towards the block, but it doesn't quite touch and opens up again. And we're doing this 10 times. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, don't know about you, but I'm losing my block. One, keep your left elbow out to the side, extend your right leg long. 10, nine, eight, readjust your block if you need to. Seven, six, breathing out to extend the leg, inhaling to rebend. Three, two, and one. Straight away taking this to the other side. Lock onto the right thigh, left elbow to the block. Right elbow comes up towards the block and then opening back up. So it's this really tiny little crunch. And you should be feeling this 
through your whole core and the sides of your waist. And just doing another five more. Remember to keep the sides of the neck nice and long so that you're not crunching through the neck. Once you've finished that, keep your right elbow out to the side, extend the leg nice and long, left leg out. Breathe in to re-bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, re-bend. Eight more, you've got this. If you're shaking, then you're doing it right. I've lost count. Let's just do four more. Think about creating a nice and long line with your left leg. See if you can lift your upper body a little bit higher. One more. Oh, and lower yourself back down. So good, guys. Ooh. Next, we're going to finish with, I forgot the name of this one, or just come into it straight away. So extend your legs up towards the sky. If you've got tight hamstrings, then you can bend your knees to begin with. From here, just extend your right leg out nice and long towards the floor. Start to lift your head and shoulders and grab a hold of the back of the left leg. So from here, you're going to pulse twice, pulling the left leg close towards your face. Option to keep your knee bent. And then change legs. Right knee pulses twice. I'm going to do straight legs because it just feels better in my body. Might not look like this and that's okay. So every time you pulse, you breathe out. Every time you swap legs, you breathe in. You want to get your leg as close as you can towards the floor without actually touching it on the floor. Let's go for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, lower down. Come straight onto your bellies. Ooh, extending your legs behind you nice and long. And just start to press down through the tops of the feet. Roll the shoulders back and lift the heart. And just close the eyes and take three deep breaths, long and deep. And for a full breath out. And then just roll over the knees into child's pose. Hips to heels, forehead to the floor. Spreading all 10 fingers and just take three breaths. So good guys. Well done. I hope you all enjoyed that little sequence. Um, just feel free to repeat through those exercises several times. So you might want to aim for about like 15 to 20 reps of each and then just keep cycling through until you are absolutely exhausted. I've already repped just from that one round. So have fun and I'll see you next time.